Could you introduce yourself, please? My name is Kenneth Moremovolo Mushwechu, otherwise known as Blue. I, I understand you were the captain of Lesotho. Yes, I was being the captain. That was in 1972? That was in 1972. In that year, the, a Zambian striker by the name of Godfrey Chitalu rewrote the record books. First, he came to Maseru and played in an African Cup of Champions Club's qualifying match, a preliminary match, against Magenta. The score was 2-2. Were you at that match? Yes, I was. What did you think of the uh, play, both from the uh, experiences of uh, Magenta, but also in terms of Chitalu? I think the, um, the Zambian side was stronger than Majanja. And uh, again, the issue of experience. Most of the Majanja players <coughs> had not been exposed to any international game. So it was the first time to mm -hmm. play such a game. You saw the match. Can you describe both of uh, Godfrey Chitalu's goals? Two goal, the, the goals that he scored. Yeah. Um, those were beautiful goals from mm -hmm. a player who myself knows what he was doing. He was a very accurate, mm -hmm. strong, and intelligent player. I understand the second goal was a bit of a wonder goal of Chitalu's just after Magenta took the lead 2-1. What are your recollections of his second goal? That, that goal was taken, I would say it surprised Magenta. They didn't expect that goal at that point in time. Mm -hmm. What was so special about it? This goal was kicked from far, mm -hmm. outside the 18 areas, and a striking shot. 18 areas? Yeah. So, how far away was it? How, how many yards or meters? We are talking about the 18 yards area. That is the, the area slightly mm -hmm. beyond the penalty mm -hmm. area. Yeah. yeah. Is that the first or the second of Chitalu's goals? That was the second. Right. I'd heard, second. I heard he scored one from near the halfway line. Yes. That is, that is the goal I'm talking about. Right, so that's the goal I'm talking about, and I said it was far outside the 18 years. Ah, okay. Yeah. So it's nearer the halfway line. The halfway line. Okay. What did the goalkeeper do? I think he didn't see the ball. I think so. Mm -hmm. no, because he was left stranded. In other words, mm -hmm. from the centre line, mm -hmm. the ball was kicked from there. Yeah. So, as usual, one would not expect somebody to score from that area. Mm -hmm. So the goalkeeper was relaxed, mm -hmm. hoping that things will happen before the ball is scored. Okay. In the second leg, Magenta lost 9-0. Chitalu scored seven goals and he was supposed to have been man-marked. Did you actually manage to see that on TV or hear of hear that match or attend it? No. Okay. We were not able to see mm -hmm. that. that is an African Cup of Champions Club's record, certainly at the time, both for the tie and the most number of goals scored in uh, one match in that competition. But it's never been recognised by CAF or FIFA or by... Uh, African competition. What do you think should be done about this? 
Uh, in my opinion, I think that's a very, very good record for mm -hmm. one player. And as such, there should have been some mm -hmm. sort of upgrade on that player. Recognition mm -hmm. of that type of effort from an African mm -hmm. player. Just over a month after that, Maseru United played a friendly match against Cabway Warriors. They lost 7-1. Sandy Kaposa scored a hat-trick. I think Boniface Sumitori got one. And Chitalu got a hat-trick. What do you think of him as in terms of uh, his performance against Lesotho opposition because there's also the which I'll come to in a minute the uh, international match. Um, I think the Zambian team were very was very strong, mm -hmm. very strong, <coughs> stronger than its opponent, and mm. like I'm saying. Exposure, it's a very important mm -hmm. element in the field of sport. People should be exposed, people should meet different countries, people should meet mm -hmm. different places. So I think um, our team was not ready, was not mm -hmm. fit and exposed. You played for uh, a different club, which uh, you'll mention. How did you feel playing for the other club, seeing both your biggest rivals, Magenta, being absolutely thrashed 9-0 in Indola, and Maseru United also being thrashed 7-1? Did you feel, as an opponent of those players normally, a degree of satisfaction that they'd been humiliated, or did you feel sorry for them for uh, Lesotho football? You know, I, 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 I felt sorry for the two teams beating in that way. <laughs> it was uh, not good at all. <laughs> but like I have said earlier on, our problem with mm -hmm our teams in the country mm -hmm. has been exposure. Mm -hmm. We, at a club level, we were supposed to have gone mm -hmm. out, played in different, uh, you know, African mm -hmm. countries, mm -hmm. but we didn't have that chance. So like mm -hmm. two teams which qualified and played they didn't have any exposure, like I'm saying. Mm -hmm. The experience, the touch of outside mm -hmm. um, performance besides the social. In the match uh, between Zambia and Lesotho, the second leg, it's the first World Cup qualification tie of Lesotho. You drew nil nil in Maseru. But when you went to Andola, it ended 6-1. Fred Mwila Jr. scores a hat-trick. Joseph Maplanga, one. And Godfrey Chitalu, two. How good were those three players? Chitalu especially. Chitalu was the best. He mm -hmm. was a very intelligent player. He was strong enough. He could control the game. Mm -hmm. the game up to the end. Like I'm saying, yeah. as <coughs> a striker, he could really mm -hmm. give problems to <coughs> the back line. He was mm -hmm. streaky. He was fast. Mm -hmm. He could turn pretty quickly. In 1972, 
Godfrey Chitalu scores 107 goals in the Zambian season. That year, the season, at that time, the season was within the calendar year. So he scores 107 goals in 309 days. Later, the record for a, cal for a season is, and a calendar year is given to Gerd Muller the same year, 1972. Now, he scores 85 in the calendar year. Lionel Messi scores 91 in the calendar year 2012, but they are considered the record holders. Yet Godfrey Chitalu's season tally, not the year, the season tally, beats them. How do you feel about him being denied the record when it clearly belongs to him? Um, I think uh, correctly. Chitalo should, been, should be given what he deserves because all of that, it's his effort which mm -hmm. must be recognized somewhere by somebody. Mm -hmm. And in judging, there should be fair judgment. It also, as we mentioned earlier, the two matches between Magenta and Cabway Warriors, they were actually an African Cup of Champions Club's record. This was the highest total in a tie, the first round, the preliminary round, and also the highest total in a single match. Yet, he has not been credited by CAF or even anybody else in relation to that. Should he be credited with the African record, and also do you think it's a bit of an insult to Lesotho that it's been written out of history as well? I think it should be recognized in those African games <laughs> too, for his performance. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, mm. um, there should be fairness in our judgment. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, uh, that uh, undermines the performance of one person. It should be mm -hmm. recognized for that performance. Mm -hmm. And what about Lesotho? Because by writing Chitalu out of history, they've also written the Lesotho club out of history. Come again. By writing Chitalu out of history, the African record, they've written the Lesotho club that was on the receiving end of it out of history as well. I would tend to think um, Lesotho also deserves mm -hmm. at least a card in the history. Mm -hmm. And also, when you include those goals, because the calendar year begins in January the 1st, if you give Chitalu 366 days in that year, it was a leap year, his total is 116. So that means he has an African record, two African records, a world record for the uh, most goals in a season and a world record for the most goals in a calendar year. Should he be credited with all of this? Definitely. Is he that? So finally... How big a player, how important a player was Godfrey Chitalu, not just for Zambian football, but for African football and football in general? Chitalu, according to me, was a great man in Africa mm -hmm. who should have been recognized for his performance, for his status, for everything that he did to the world of football. Uh, lastly, what would you describe a league where the top team wins by nine points? That's three wins higher than second place. The second place team is 30-3-0 points ahead of third place and 7-0-70 seven, goals ahead in goal difference of third place. What would you describe that league as? 
Can you come again? I'm getting confused. Yeah. A team wins the league by nine points, i.e. three wins. The second place team that they beat uh, to the league title is 30, three zero points ahead of third place, i.e. ten wins. They are also, the second place team, are also 70, seven zero goals ahead on goal difference of third place. What would you describe that league as? I, I think I'm slightly confused. I don't get the point. And Is it a competitive league? Some people describe it these these type of leagues as uh, farmers leagues. Yes. As a farmers league. Okay, don't worry, you don't understand it. 